Hey guys and welcome back to another video and hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a topic that I'm a bit confused to be honest and I want to share this video with you and hopefully to get inputs and feedback for those of you that are more experienced on this and we are talking about shadows on uh, solar panels especially when we are talking about a central inverter and they are connected in series so what we are going to do and i'm going to show you the app on the screen right over there i did disconnect my 1.5 kilowatt system that i've got on the roof and the only system that it's working is this one right over here in terms of the inverter and in terms of the solar panel installations i will leave a link down below or right over here so that you guys can check out i'm not really sure if i've got the video in english but i've got it in portuguese and what can i assure is that they are in series with a Solax 2.5 normal central inverter. And as I was saying that we will be using a WeB app, which is a lot faster in terms of refresh, not a lot faster, but a bit faster. And I'm going to shade the panels so that you guys can take a look, see the results, and then hopefully use it for your installations or try on your installations and share with us. So that being said, let's go for it. At this moment we are producing roughly 1,000 uh, 30 watts of uh, solar power and what I'm going to do first I'm going to cover it of the panel so that we can see if it's affected or not and it is as you can see dropped to 100 1160 something now let's cover the whole panel that by the way I've got nine panels 285 uh, 285 watts each so you can do the maths of the total power production and divided by nine so that you can achieve what each one of them should be producing so let's cover it okay, so this first one is all covered up we just lost to 1001 now let's cover the second okay, so before I cover the second one we are producing 100 1170 or 80 watts at this moment so let's cover the second and i believe that a few cells would be enough to drop and they drop as we can see on the app but um, just for scientific reasons or call it whatever we are going to cover almost the whole panel and there we go we have only a few cells on this side right over here but nothing significant and we have dropped to 1030 watts with two panels completely covered let's go for the third one so before i cover the third one we are with uh, 1030 watts more or less of production when we cover for the first time we'll see a a big drop but as you can see right now dropped to 500 300 uh, but then it will recover how I don't know I don't have as I said any optimizers I just have the central inverter and the panels that's it and the wind is blowing hopefully it will not blow the towels away before I finish the test okay so we have dropped to 890 watts at this moment. Three panels almost completely covered, as you guys can see. So my expectations would be that the whole production by now would be almost at zero, but it's not, which is great, but it's also curious. And hopefully one of you guys will be able to explain why is it the invert i'm not really sure now let's do something else which is the invert uh, we have 900 watts at this moment so let's remove from the first one and let's see how it will climb because it's faster remove them to place the towels at 1050 let's remove from the second one just to 1200 and something 1200 and if we take it off we will go to at 11 o'clock more 
or less. There's no conclusion on my end. And actually, as I said, I'm a bit confused. I honestly would like to receive feedback from you guys to understand a little bit better why is this happening. Is this the inverter? Does it have any specification that I didn't read? Because the idea that I had is that in series, when we affect one panel, it affects the old production and that's not what we are seeing. Uh, we had one panel right over there that we covered, it dropped to 500 watts, but then it did start to climb. Looks like the system just gets uh, I don't know, getting the same results like we have on uh, micro inverters, like I do have on my roof. And that's the uh, old reason that I got micro inverters upstairs and I got a central inverter right over here. So guys, sorry about that. There's no conclusion from my end, but I would like to share this message. And if possible, then all of you that have more experience in this area, drop in leave your comments, leave your experience, test out your system if it does the same as mine or not. Just cover one panel and see the results. And basically that is it. If this video was helpful in some way, don't forget to leave that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated right over here. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.